How I got revenge on my cheating ex-wife after six years of silence. My ex-wife, Claire, and I were married 10 years ago right when I turned 21 and graduated college. We were married for five years. During our whole marriage, I thought we were happy. I certainly was, anyway. I was successful in the IT field, we never got into fights during our marriage and our private life seemed to be satisfying. Then, out of nowhere, she became distant to me. Whereas before she had loved to initiate physical intimacy with me and loved having it with me, suddenly we tapered off. Every day turned into once a week, then for the last two weeks before I found out, not at all. I finally learned of her affair partner when she left her phone out and it was still open to a message that she had sent to a number I didn't know. Although I was hurt, I kept my calm and took photos of her phone with my phone. I then saw her message stream with her boyfriend. It was some guy from the gym that I was paying her bill for. I decided to confront her. The messages told me all I needed to know. They had been seeing each other while I was at work, in my bed. I just asked her why. Why did she do this to me? Why did she lie to me? Why did she betray me? She didn't have a good answer. She just said she was sorry and that she didn't love me anymore. She said she wanted a divorce and that she was in love with the other guy. I was devastated, but I agreed to the divorce. I had talked to a divorce attorney and I would be fine. I was 25 and didn't have serious money. Her father had passed away and left her like 200k so she was well off. I had no claim on that money, nor should I have had one. We had no kids, although she had always claimed we would start having kids when she turned 30. That birthday came and went but rather than start having kids with me, she decided to just leave me for someone else. Although I was the sole income earner, she was in possession of a large amount of money, had a college degree and was a school teacher for two years before we got married. The divorce papers were signed without much hassle. She tried to apologize to me and tell me that the other guy didn't mean anything to her, but I ignored her. A lot of her friends tried to call me. They left messages about how I was heartless and cruel for not giving her another chance. I ignored all of them. The only person I called was the guy's wife, who promptly divorced him. But I guess it worked out for my ex because she and her boyfriend got married just a few months after the divorce finalized. The only time I ever saw her again was in front of the judge to end our divorce case where I didn't have to pay any alimony and it was a clean break. She never looked at me once but kept her head down. She brought her boyfriend from the gym and he looked smug like he had won something. I just shook my head at him and thought he would regret it soon enough. I've been on dates since then and been intimate a few times but have never been in a long-term relationship since. This was my own choice. In a lot of ways I'm not over my relationship with her. I don't love her anymore but I'm wary of loving anyone now. Eventually, I reconnected with some of my friends I had neglected during my marriage since my wife disapproved of me being friends with anyone. I used to use Facebook but pretty much anyone I care about, I already see and converse face to face or on the phone. So, I never use it anymore. Apparently Claire had spun a narrative that I was emotionally abusive and that's why she had no choice but to leave me for an affair partner. My parents didn't buy it, and my close associates didn't buy it, either. But she tried selling the crap to my boss to get me fired, I guess as revenge against me ruining her boyfriend's marriage. Funny, that she cared about his marriage, when it was his new singlehood that helped make a faithful woman out of her. I just showed my boss the messages where my ex admitted to cheating on me and that I was a good husband etc. He just told me he was sorry, and gave me two weeks paid off to rest. Fast forward six years. I'm still single and just working in my same field and at the same company but making more money now and I am doing pretty well for myself. I got my own apartment, I've got savings, I've got a 401k, a car, and I'm generally happy. I do what I want, when I want, and answer to no one. I'm happy where I'm at. But last week my ex started texting me again. I never blocked her number, since there was no need to. She hadn't tried contacting me again since the old messages a long time ago begging me not to divorce her and telling me the other guy didn't mean anything to her blah blah blah. At first her messages were just friendly. Hi, it's Claire. Long time no see. How are you? I know I messed up. Can I call you? Then she tried to call me. At least 10 times. I didn't pick up, and I didn't answer any of her texts either. This is still your number, right? I talked to our mutual acquaintance and he says this is still your number since you replied to him on it. Please talk to me. She then told me how much she missed me and how I was the only man who was ever good to her. Then she started sharing information. My husband is such a jerk. He doesn't treat me well. I don't know what to do. I made the biggest mistake of my life leaving you. You were the best thing that ever happened to me. I still ignored her. Then she started naming off different ways that he mistreated her. I didn't want to contact her again, so I texted our mutual acquaintance, a person who had joined in on calling me heartless years ago, and told him what Claire told me. I asked him to get into contact with the proper authorities if what she's saying is true, because I don't care about Claire anymore. I told him I don't care if she was unhappy or sad, but I figured maybe her friends cared. I actually used those words. Looking back, it's obvious I do care, if I bothered to try to send such a message through an intermediary, but I didn't want to get involved otherwise. I also figured Claire was trying to manipulate the former nice guy I used to be. The old me would have tried to help her and be a friend to her. Not anymore. The acquaintance told me I was a cold person and a bad person and so on. I told him to mind his own business and blocked him. For the first time in forever I logged into Facebook. As expected, no one that I used to think of as a friend had ever tried to message me to comfort me or help me back when I was first getting cheated on and divorced. I had gotten a lot of support from my family and actual friends and co-workers who had since become outside friends. Tons of people who were her friends had been sending me messages now, telling me they were right to support her because I was ignoring her in her time of need. But seriously, WTF. What am I supposed to do? 
I'm her ex-husband and someone she left for another man. They know about the alleged mistreatment on the man's part so as her friends what are they doing about it? I'm just some guy she used to know, and who she hurt. Regardless, I kept on getting harassed. I saved all the texts she had sent me recently as well as years ago and decided to stop being silent on social media. But first there was something I needed to do. I answered her text. I acted like a friend and told her that we should meet to talk in person. She was hesitant for a few days but eventually agreed to see me. She said she wanted to apologize for everything and start over as friends. When I walked through her door we talked for about an hour before things got awkward. She tried to hug me and kiss me but I pushed her away. Then I took a picture of us together, with her looking confused and hurt. Then I sent the picture to her husband captioned with, this yours? She wanted more. And got up and left. When I got home, I just posted her texts on Facebook with a caption that said, this is the truth about Claire. Finally they left me alone. Now she is still texting me complaining about what I said to the mutual acquaintance and accusing me of never loving her. She sent me voice messages, saying that I was a terrible person for ruining her marriage but I never replied to her. I feel relieved about what I did, and in my own way, I feel like I have closure.